In this video, we're going to go over how to add and name polygons over top of each of the plots in the field. So up to this point, we've added our yield monitor data layer, which you can see with all the individual yield monitor points. We've also added our GPS plot stakes so that we know where to line our plots up in that yield monitor layer. Now the last step for this is to put polygons over top of our plots so we can collect yield monitor data from behind those polygons. So in order to do that, we have to create a new shapefile layer. So we'll go to the toolbar to new shapefile layer. I'm going to call this layer plot polygons. And for geometry type, we will do polygons. I'm going to add a new field to this shapefile layer. And this is for naming the polygons. So I'm just going to call it plot ID. I'm going to leave that as uh, text data so we can enter letters or numbers or symbols. And I'm going to leave it at the default 80 characters. So when you're happy with that, you can select add to fields list. Again, you can see we already had a, an integer attribute, um, which just lets you enter numbers, which probably would have been fine for this example. But it's always nice to have a backup where you can enter uh, letters or symbols in as well if you want to use those for, uh, for naming attributes. And once you're good with that, we'll select OK. So you can see there's a new, uh, a new plot polygon layer in our layer window now, which is a layer we just created. And at this point, we're ready to add polygons to the map. Of course, like I've shown in previous videos, uh, you can't actually edit this new layer until you toggle editing. So I'm going to hit toggle editing. And now you can see the icons have lit up, which allows us to actually edit this layer. So I'm going to select add polygon feature to add a polygon. And once you've selected it, essentially you just need to click on the corners of your polygon and, uh, and go around the shape until you're done. So in this case, it's pretty simple. It's just going to be four, uh, four corners for a long rectangular polygon. So I've left clicked once, left click twice, left click for my third corner, and left click for my fourth corner. Once you've finished making your polygon shape, uh, you just right click to finalize. And you can see the name box comes up. So plot ID is that field I added. And this is plot 101. So I'm just going to add 101 to that box. And click OK. And you can see we've got a new polygon. So in reality, if you're doing field trials, this strip might run the whole length of the field. So you'd have to draw a polygon down the whole length of the field. Just for simplicity for this example, I'm just making it a couple hundred feet long. The other thing you can see is that I didn't necessarily make the polygon the actual true size or true width that it was in the field, that the plot was in the field. And really, as long as I'm capturing those data points underneath that polygon, uh, that's the important part. So I don't necessarily have to cover the exact footprint of the, uh, the plot in the field. As long as you're capturing the data points that you need to capture, uh, that's sufficient. So just to show that, I'm going to go into this layer. I'm going to right click on plot polygons and go to properties. And I'm going to make the, the polygon slightly see-through. So I'm going to take opacity to about 50%. And I'm going to change the color to red. And I hit apply. Now you can see we've got a red uh, see-through polygon, which is representing the area we're going to collect data points from when we average yields for, uh, for each of these test plots. So again, once you're happy with that, we'll select OK. And essentially, we can repeat that process for the other plots in the field. Now, uh, to save a bit of time, we can copy the first one we made and just paste it in the other ones. In this case, I'm assuming our plots are all the same size, so that works. If your plots are a little bit different size or things don't quite line up, you might have to make new ones again. Um, but I'll show you how to copy and paste the existing polygon. So I'm going to select that polygon again with the Select Features tool. And I'm going to go to Edit and Copy and Move Features. I'm going to select the polygon once more. And once you do one left click on that polygon, you can see it gives you a, a copy that you're able to place down in other spots of the field. So I'm going to use that copy to place down in over top of the data for plot 102 with a left click. And I'm going to put it again for plot 201 with a left click. And again for plot 202 with a left click. So now you can see we've got four polygons that are each capturing the data in the four strips in the field where we're going to collect data from. 
So once you're done, you can right click to uh, deselect the copy and move function. So we're almost done, but the one thing we still have to do is go in and rename each of our polygons by the uh, plot they're over top of. So again, I'm going to go to the selection tool. The first one's selected, but I'm going to select it again and go to the attributes table. And you can see it's labeled as 101, which in this case is the right label for this plot. I'm going to go to select plot 102, go to the attribute table and change it from 101 to 102. I'll repeat this with uh, plots 201 and plots 202 as well. And this step is important because at the end of the day, when we summarize data, it's going to spit that data out by however these plots are labeled. So it's important that your polygons are labeled to reflect the actual plots that they're over top of. So with that, we've got, uh, we've got four polygons over top of our plots we can use for summarizing data. Uh, we created a new polygon, we copied them, made sure they were over top of the data that we wanted to collect, and then just made four over each of the plots. And this summarizes the video of how to add and name polygons.